Hey there, ambitious men. Welcome to another enlightening video on the Max Sterling channel. Today, we're diving into the art of war and extracting valuable lessons that can be applied to our modern lives. So, get ready to sharpen your strategic thinking and learn how to achieve victory without unnecessary battles. Lesson number one. In the practical art of war, it's best to capture the enemy's country whole and intact, rather than shatter and destroy it. Lawrence of Arabia's surprise attack on the Turkish in World War I showcases the power of attacking your enemy's weaknesses strategically, leading to a more favorable outcome. Remember, unnecessary harm fuels enduring hostility. Lesson number two, supreme excellence in war isn't about fighting and conquering in every battle. True excellence lies in breaking the enemy's resistance without engaging in direct combat. Helmuth von Moltke the Elder brilliantly defeated the French army in the Franco-Prussian War, using strategic maneuvers that minimized bloodshed. Nearly effortless victories evoke awe and discourage futile fights. Lesson number three. Avoid laying siege to walled cities whenever possible. British forces in the Boer War learned this the hard way. Though unprepared, they defended their besieged towns by building fortifications and reinforcements. This delay bought them time to recover and ultimately win the war. Laying siege requires significant resources and exposes your troops while the enemy remains hidden. Lesson number four. Losing control and launching a reckless assault can result in unnecessary casualties during a siege. Japanese General Nogi Marazuki's human wave attacks during the siege of Port Arthur led to massive losses. Frustration can cloud judgment, making it crucial for leaders to maintain composure. Lesson number five. The skillful leader captures cities without laying siege and overthrows kingdoms without extensive field operations. Napoleon Bonaparte outsmarted his opponents with superior strategy as demonstrated in his victory over Austrian General Karl Mack von Lieberich. Observe the enemy, plan meticulously, and strike with precision. Lesson number six. Triumph can be achieved by attacking through stratagem, leaving the enemy's forces intact. Napoleon showcased this ingenuity when seizing a booby-trapped bridge. By deceiving the guards with a fabricated truce, his troops crossed the bridge undamaged. Minimizing losses and costs is essential for sustained military campaigns. Lesson number seven. A strong and comprehensive leadership is the protective wall of a state. British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain's failure to intervene during the initial stages of the Second World War exemplifies the dangers of weak leadership. Strong leaders are vital for a state's strength and security. Lesson number eight. Choosing when to fight and when to refrain from fighting is crucial. Habsburg Duke Leopold II's ill-fated attempt to suppress a Swiss revolt on a mountainside ended disastrously due to poor timing and geography. Understand the right circumstances and terrain for engaging in battles. Lesson number nine, handling superior and inferior forces requires unique strategies. Henry V's triumph at the Battle of Agincourt, despite being vastly outnumbered, showcased the importance of taking advantage of favorable conditions. Understanding your strengths and weaknesses is critical in any battle. Lesson number 10. Unity of spirit is key to victory. Colonel Joshua Chamberlain's troops turned the tide in the Battle of Gettysburg by following a courageous lieutenant's example, charging forward with bayonets. A shared purpose and clear focus unite armies and elevate their performance. Lesson number 11. Success comes to those who prepare and catch the enemy off guard. The Allies' unpreparedness during the Gallipoli campaign in World War I contributed to their failure. An army should constantly prepare, as failing to do so sets the stage for defeat. Lesson number 12. Great military leaders thrive when sovereign powers don't interfere with their command. Napoleon Bonaparte's success was attributed to his ability to make decisions without interference. Differentiate between political rulers and military commanders, allowing each to excel in their respective domains. Lesson number 13. In war, knowing yourself and the enemy is essential. Fu Qian, the Chinese emperor, rashly marched against rival armies without understanding his own forces or the opposition. 
the consequence was a disastrous defeat. True victory comes from self-awareness, understanding the opponent, and making informed decisions. Phew! We've covered some awe-inspiring war strategies that can be applied to our daily lives. Now it's time for you to take action. What lessons will you implement in your own life? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you found this video valuable and want more insightful content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. By doing so, you'll be on your way to achieving the benefits we've discussed today. And hey, if you truly found this video valuable, consider giving a tip proportional to the value you've received. Your support is greatly appreciated. Check the link in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, ambitious men. Now go out there and conquer your battles with wisdom and strategy. Until next time. Hey there, ambitious men. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of influence and persuasion? Of course you are. In this video, I'm going to share with you three powerful tips based on the science of influence that will help you become more persuasive, influential, and successful in all areas of your life. So buckle up and get ready for some mind-blowing insights. First up, we have the power of being a chameleon. Picture this, you're in a tough negotiation, trying to seal the deal and get the best outcome possible. Well, Studies have shown that subtly imitating the behavior, language, and mannerisms of the person you're negotiating with can lead to incredible success. It's like being a social chameleon, adapting to your surroundings to create a deeper connection. Whether it's crossing your legs when they do or using similar gestures, being a chameleon can make a world of difference in building rapport and getting what you want. But influence is not just about blending in. Oh no, my friend. It's also about standing out. Our next tip is all about harnessing the drive to be different. You see, sometimes people don't want to be the same as everyone else. They want to be unique, to set themselves apart. And this desire for distinction can be a powerful tool for persuasion. Studies have shown that when people see others making the same choice, they become less satisfied with their own decision. They want to be different, to stand out from the crowd. So, if you want to motivate yourself or others, tap into that need for individuality. Encourage them to make choices that set them apart and watch as their motivation soars. Now, let's talk about the power of social comparison. Humans are naturally wired to compare themselves to others, and this innate behavior can be a fantastic motivator. Imagine this scenario. You want to start exercising regularly, but you just can't find the motivation. Well, studies have shown that when you know what your neighbors are doing, when you see others taking action, you're more likely to jump on the bandwagon. Social comparisons are a powerful way to inspire change in yourself and others. But here's the twist, it's all about picking a proximal peer. Someone slightly ahead of you, someone you can relate to. When you compare yourself to someone just a little bit better, it creates a healthy competition that pushes you to strive for more. So there you have it, my ambitious friends. Three tips to boost your influence and persuasion skills. Be a chameleon, harness the drive to be different, and pick a proximal peer. These strategies will not only make you more influential but also help you motivate yourself and others to achieve greatness. Now, here's the deal. If you found this video valuable and want to continue leveling up your influence game, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we drop new videos that'll help you dominate in every aspect of your life. So, my friend, what actions will you take from this video? How will you implement these influence strategies and transform your life? I want to hear from you in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video to be of immense value, consider showing your appreciation by leaving a tip. Every contribution helps us continue creating high-quality content that empowers ambitious men like yourself. The link to give a tip can be found in the description. Thank you for joining me today, and remember, with the power of influence on your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Keep striving, keep growing, and keep influencing.
See you in the next video, my friend.